Hello! Today we're doing something a little bit different than the normal sewing video. I am super excited for today's video. We're going to be styling some casual Ren Faire things. I've spent almost every weekend of the last two months at some kind of Ren Faire. Uh, I've been traveling a lot for them and also going to my local one and it's been super fun. But I always put together like pretty elaborate outfits and I was thinking if I'm gonna do this again next year I probably should come up with some more casual outfits so that I don't have to have the whole experience be like me watching my costume and making sure that it's not falling apart the whole time. I mean not that my costume fell apart but like you know when you go to an event and you're in a costume it's always a lot more mental and like maybe physical energy to keep track of that than it would be if you were just wearing clothes like normal clothes. <laughs> so I thought that it would be a lot of fun to put together some casual Ren Faire outfits and maybe it will help somebody else. So these are not gonna be like all separate distinct outfits. These are gonna be all using the same like 10 pieces and mixing and matching to put together like a pirate outfit or a wizard outfit or like a shopkeeper kind of outfit. This will be more like using my wardrobe to mix and match things. So this video is also not sponsored by Sonda Floor, but I was gifted these items by Sonda Floor. So I'm really excited to be working with them again. I did want to mention that their size range is not very uh, expansive, I guess. Um, so that was the criticism that I got was that I forgot to mention that in the last video I did for Sound of Floor. They have a lot of really great items and they are a sustainable company, however, their size range is not the widest. Just something to keep in mind, uh, they just are not the most size inclusive company. I am looking for more size inclusive companies to work with, however, uh, just the way that this kind of thing works is I have better luck with working with a company if they approach me. Like I've tried approaching a bunch of companies that are more size inclusive, but I uh, have not had luck with getting any of them to actually respond to me as of yet. So just, just so you know, I am trying. I promise I am. I really wanna showcase more size inclusive sustainable brands, but it is a little bit longer of a process because they have to actually respond to me when I contact them. <laughs> but with that aside, Sound of Floor is a slow fashion company and they try their best to make everything sustainably and ethically, which I think is great. I have a whole video talking about the construction of their clothing and the company in general. So I'll put that link in the description so you can check that out. Um, so this time I'm not gonna go too in depth. They're a really good company I really love all of their designs. I think they're super cute. Um, they make primarily linen clothing and it it's all like really good like base outfits and also like cute on its own but like they make really good base outfits. So I'm really excited to work with them again. They were super willing to go along with my idea for casual Renfair outfits which I think is a good way to get extra use out of your clothing because their clothes are really good for daily wear like that is what they're meant for but I wanted to show how they could also be used in a less like daily wear kind of thing. So if you're looking for costumes for Renfair that are a little bit less out there and a little bit easier to wear, these will be some good ideas for you. Most of the rest of the clothing in this video is stuff that I've made personally, but I've tried to make it so that they're kind of basics that you can get wherever. So hopefully that is the case. Lastly, this is gonna be kind of a shorter video because I'm still getting the hang of like doing styling and outfit videos and trying to figure out what style I like to do for editing and shooting, so bear with me and if you have suggestions I'm always happy to take them um, but I hope you guys like this video let's get styling I guess <laughs> before we get started I've gotten a lot of comments asking where baby bed is so I thought I'd include some clips of her she's doing just great she went to the vet recently but she's all better now so here's baby bat okay let's get started for the first few outfits we're gonna be a pirate since I can just build on top of my leggings for that I'm gonna add a pirate shirt first and then we'll add a black corset both of these items are made by me, but they're really simple, basic pieces that you could get pretty much anywhere. For a more piratey feel, we're going to add some pirate jewelry. The necklace is one that I got as a child. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean necklace, and then the amethyst is one that Micah got. I don't know where it's from, but it is. Pirate outfits also need pirate belts. I have a video doing a bunch of different experiments on leather working where I made these belts, so go check that out and you can make your own or you can just buy your own. And then we've also got a pirate cutlass. This is just a training sword, so it's not sharp or gonna do anybody damage. For more of a cabin boy kind of look, you can add a bandana. And if you don't have a corset, but you do have a vest, that also looks very piratey. Here, I realized that I forgot to put on the sash before the belt, so we're adding the sash, and that just adds a little bit more extra texture, pattern, color, whatever. 
up until now I've had no shoes on so let's get some boots on there. I've just got some basic knee-high leather boots but really any black boots would probably look just fine for a pirate. Now that we've exhausted our options for leggings pirate, if we add a dress, it really changes up the entire look. And with the pirate shirt over top, you can't even really tell that it's a full dress, like it looks like a skirt. So you can get a lot of use out of these dresses just like doing different things to them. For the sword, you want to check with your local renaissance festival that they are okay with weapons because a lot of them have really strict weapons policies. And if we remove all of the pirate accessories, then we just kind of look like a cute shopkeeper or a tavern girl, like I'm going to serve you soup in a bread bowl. <laughs> remove another layer and you've got an entirely different look. This is just the Carmen dress and my lace-up vest. It's a little bit more of a basic tavern wench kind of look or like an adventurer look and I think that's really cute. If you add a black corset, we can go back into pirate land because black corsets seem to be pirate. Add a sash and then add some belts. The basic formula for pirate is corset, belt, sword, maybe a sash, and that will get you pretty far in looking like a pirate even if you don't have a specific costume in mind. I think that's the last pirate look, so we're gonna just remove all of the accessories that make us look like a pirate and switch from a corset to an apron. Since we're going more cottagey here than swashbuckler, let's switch those black boots to brown boots. I'm literally obsessed with this apron. Look at all those cute mushrooms. To look even more like cottagey and like a hearth witch, we're gonna add another layer of skirt. This is also from Sonda Floor, and I think just having lots of different patterns and textures really helps make it look a little bit more like rustic. And it's hard to communicate that you're a witch at the Ren Fair without having a witch hat, so let's add that too. I got these cute little mushroom earrings literally the day before that I filmed this video, and it was just a really lucky find. If you take away the witch hat and add that brown vest again, you've got a little bit more of like a cottage core kind of wench, but it's still very run fair looking. Without the apron, we look like we're ready to go on an adventure. JK, we're adding a different apron, but this time it's a little bit more of a hobbity look than a cottage witch kind of look, so I think that's really cute too. For Ren Fair, you can never go wrong adding more belts, so let's just add another belt. Get rid of the apron, and we're back to being an adventurer. Taking off more layers so that we can transition into a different color palette. This kind of basic outfit looks good with pretty much any kind of stays or corset you have, so here I've got a black corset for a little bit higher contrast. You can also hike your skirt up so there's a little bit of a different look to your skirt and I really like these Sonda Floor dresses because they do have the white hem facing so it makes it look a little more interesting when the skirt's hiked up. I've just tucked my skirt up into my stays to hike it up but you can also buy skirt hikes. They attach to your belt and you just thread your skirt through the loops. I love Sonda Floor's Carmen dress so much that I got it in black as well as terracotta and having the same dress in two different colors really just expands how much I can do with my wardrobe. The black stays kind of disappear on the black dress so these are actually reversible so I'm going to wear them with the pattern side out so you can see them a little bit better. And now that our outfit is all monotone blacks, we're going to switch to black boots. I made these stays for a witch costume last year, so let's add the witch hat that goes with them. And if you're not so into like super colorful outfits and you're more of a like neutrals or all blacks kind of person, I think this is a really cute way to do a plant witch but in like a more goth way. <laughs> And speaking of plant witches, Sonda Floor also has a really perfect pinafore for the darker looking flowery plant witch. We're gonna add that green apron again because we love to layer. If we get rid of the witch hat and all of our other plant witch kind of accessories, we can transition into a different style. We're adding back that black underbust corset. Again, that was something that I made, but it's really generic, so you can find that one anywhere. And we're also going to add these scale spalders from Synthetic Daisy Design. 
I knew in my mind that I wanted to do some kind of like girly flower night because a lot of the night course stuff is very like androgynous or masculine looking. So when I saw this floral pinafore from Salon de Flore and I already had the scale spalders, I thought that that would be really cool to combine them for a night look that's a little bit different and I don't know, a little girlier. <laughs> If you don't have a floral pinafore like that, or it's just something that doesn't really fit into your everyday wardrobe, I think the spalders look really cool with just a black dress. It's simple and really comfortable, and I think it really helps bring the focus to the armor, which like, the armor looks really cool, so why not showcase it? And after a long but fun day at the Renaissance Festival, usually all I want to do is get back into my big sweatshirt and sit on the couch and watch some TV and cuddle with my cats. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video and if you do please get a thumbs up. This is only my second like styling outfit video ever so I'm still trying to figure out what kind of editing and shooting I really like to do but if you have any suggestions I am super open to them and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!